I'm gonna do a haul of stuff I bought that's not toys. Coming up after this. Hey, so I bought some stuff. I don't normally buy things. In fact, I've gotten rid of most of the things that I own, like furniture-wise and stuff like that, and I mostly focus on toys. Like, to tell you the truth, I don't like to leave my bed. I think it's really hard on my back. That thing, somebody got that from me, from my Amazon wish list. I think it's helping still have this fat thing going on. I think most of it stems from being a, uh, what do you call that? This is going to be a ketchup video, not just a haul video. Gorger. Is that the word? I don't know. My brain went blank. Yeah, I gorge and I don't stop. And even after I'm hungry, I eat more and more. And I think that has more to do with it. But I just saw or, yeah, watched this awesome doctor who, uh, I'm gonna have to come back and do a whole video on it maybe because it really puts it in the mindset. Anyway, I talk to myself now and tell that little voice that's coming from the wrong part of my brain and I call him a cockroach and I tell him to shut up and it, it really does seem to be working. And also think about eating food for health benefits opposed to pleasure. I never did really eat food for pleasure, but I would turn to refined sugars for pleasure, I think. Anyway, let's get on to the haul. Um, I bought these bracelets off of Amazon. That's something that's not a toy. Oh, that's not true. I did not. I bought some on Amazon, but they weren't as nice as these ones that I found at some kind of liquidation warehouse where they had Halloween grab bags. And I actually did a video on my toy channel on those grab bags. And I wish I would have bought more of them because the ones that I have been finding on Amazon are nothing like these ones. These ones are so much like the original ones, even though they're not, they're kind of harder than they should be. Anyway, I always wanted to get some and I always put it off. Maybe I should try a party store when stores like that open up again. Okay, so most of this stuff, I think it's all from the dollar store. Oh, no, not all. It's from, most of it's from the dollar store. I got uh, some t-shirts. Normally I just get white t-shirts and I've been getting them on Amazon and that's why I will wear and then I have all kinds of clothes that I've had from years and years. But this is a really nice t-shirt and I thought it would be nice for Christmas. So, and it's cute and it's like that heathery cotton so it's soft and it falls nice. I'm actually, it feels not soft but it feels like the kind of soft that I like. Rough but soft. I can't get the sticker off. Okay. This is the brand. That's that Gildan brand. That's the, just the kind that they make when you make your own t-shirts. I'm not going to cut the sleeves off it. It probably fits me just right if I wash it. It's probably going to be ruined. I got these ones, these Christmas t-shirts from the dollar store to do Christmas videos. Probably shouldn't dry them. They got Elf Crew. Cute. I always have sleeveless shirts on. I've been noticing my armpit hair on the videos and I've had a few comments about it and maybe it's kind of gross to have armpit hair mixed with toys. I don't know. Working on my Santa body though, I definitely have to cut the sleeves off of this one. <sighs> cool. And did I say what I did with that thing? It is a incline table, inversion table. Anyway, it turns you upside down, and I, I've been doing crunches. You're supposed to get benefits from just hanging upside down for your bad back, but you're also going to get benefits from doing crunches because if your whole core is strong. And I think I've been noticing more definition in my abs, even though when I sit like this, I look fat. Um, I'm on Santa's awesome list which is, these are all really bad t-shirts, but I mean, they're from the dollar store, and I think they're funny because nobody else will have them, at least, you know, people who watch me on YouTube, because, I mean, probably one in a hundred people are Canadian. As you can see, everything I have is natural cotton, so when I see 
bags like this at the dollar store. This is the kind of bag I want to go shopping with. So natural cotton bags, how much were they? They were $2.50, which is a great price. They're pretty big. If I wash and dry them though, I think that they're going to get really small, but that's good enough to take to the grocery store. And maybe if I have these bags, the people at the stores won't bother me and think I'm a shoplifter when I bring in the book bags that I use. The gym kind of bags I re regularly use. Maybe if I have these on me, which is clear that there's nothing in them. But I also carry a lot of stuff with me, like phones and wallets and stuff are big. And I don't like to put them in my pocket. Okay, I got this hat. And it's not real or anything, but it's black and it's the natural cotton color, so things that I love to wear. And I just thought it would keep me warm and it looks cool. And uh, my jacket's black and I like to just wear black jeans and a black jacket in the winter time. Yeah, my jacket even has this kind of fur on it. So cute. I'd, I'd wear it like this. I mean, if I was getting cold, I would do that. This doesn't unbutton or anything. Anyway, I look like a pilot. I've been, oh wow, I've been sleeping with my uh, hat on at night. I don't usually wash my hair with anything, with water just basically, but I've been uh, washing it with soap and putting coconut oil in it and then putting on a hat and I've been getting pretty good results and just going to sleep like this. It smooths it out. I can do things like this with it and I like how this looks. It's messy, cool, and I don't have to put like sticky product in it or anything. These light bulbs. I was moving around stuff in this room. I'm getting this room under control. This is really good. That I'm sorry about the shaky camera. You're just going to have to deal with it. I know some people don't like it and get vertigo and stuff. Those lamps I had um, somewhere. Yeah, I was tripping over the cord. They all knocked over and smashed. Uh, I'm worried the switch doesn't click off anymore. It does adjust. It's hard to explain. I'm really proud of these. I made these. And they dim. I'm kind of worried about it because it's not functioning properly. Oh, and I was going to forget about these things. These canisters. Also totally my jam. They look so turn-of-the-century old-fashioned, like you would keep your brown sugar in here. The tops are bamboo. That's not very old-fashioned. Just that texture looks so old-fashioned. It's old white clay that's not bleached or anything. How much did they cost? They cost $3.50. Yeah, um, I have no reason for these, but I mean, there's always little things that you have to keep and stuff, and I'm probably going to knock them over and break them, but I bought three of them, and they spark joy. And like I said, I don't buy things very often. I just buy toys and food. And that's where all of my money goes, which I don't have any money during COVID, none. Well, that's not true. I do make some money on YouTube. I have to get this channel to a thousand, so I start making money on this channel too. So tell your friends, even though I would be embarrassed if I told my friends about this channel. I've never told anybody I know about this. Okay, so those old fashioned light bulbs, I love those in that lamp. Those lamps. I found this underwear at the dollar store and it looked like it's made really nice. What you can tell about underwear, not that I have nice underwear though, I never buy expensive underwear. Like I buy my underwear from the dollar store. But the quality of this strap seems really nice and they say Canada on them and I thought I'd put them on for OnlyFans, at least I could take a picture and they're kind of Christmas colors too. So I don't know what I'm doing with OnlyFans. It's don't ask. What I put out isn't worth it, but maybe I should try to make it worth it. This is the only thing out of here that I didn't get at the Dollarama, but this makes putting on your sneakers really easy elastic laces. That also brings me to this. I uh, really want to find a really nice pair of sneakers, even though if there's snow on the ground, I'll just wear boots. But these are at the dollar store, and it's been so long since I wore sports socks. I usually just wear wool socks 
and Converse, but my wool socks are all wearing out and they're really expensive to buy. So I was going to buy all new batches, but the last batches I bought, and I usually buy them from Marksburg Warehouse, and they were getting holes in the back of them really quickly. So it's kind of expensive. Maybe each pair costs $10, basically, and that's a lot because then I want to buy seven for the week at least, maybe more. So then I always have, you know, socks and laundry. I probably want to buy two weeks worth just in case I don't get to do laundry in two weeks. That's $140. And I really wanted to get a really cushy pair of sneakers, but this was all happening in the summertime or the beginning of COVID. Yeah, I have no, nothing to wear these with because if I'm wearing my Converse, I do want a little more cushion in the sock than this is going to give me. Or maybe I can buy even more cushier sports socks. But I really want to get a really comfortable pair of sneakers that I can't wear until. I think I just answered my own question. I'm going to go have to buy some more new wool socks. I know that the ones with the red stripes don't wear out as fast as the ones with the black stripes. And then something I never do is dust. I'm super environmental. I'm always concerned with the environment. Oh, I bought flossers, you know, plastic flossers that are disposable. And I'm going to stop feeling guilty about that. I've saved them all and maybe I'll make an art project with them or something. I don't know what I can use those things for. But I found one of these. How do I say it? I found one in my house and I used it and it was new in a box and I couldn't believe how well it dusted and the stuff stuck to it and it worked so well. Then I bought another one. I don't know if these are even gonna fit onto the duster that I have. I bought these ones at the dollar store. Maybe they won't work as well as the brand name one that I found, but it's worth a try and you can vacuum them off. That's what I've been doing and using them again. But why make my life harder? I mean, it makes it easier to do the work. And these bins. I have a rule where I don't really buy plastic and I like to buy things like those jars and everything that's functional in your house I think should look good and I don't think you should settle. I don't think you should buy all different colored plastic things. These things I get all the time and they're all the same or they're different sizes but they're all the same brand and they fit and they stack on one another and then when I line them up on the shelves they look neat and tidy and it's not a mix and match and I think that's where people go wrong with decorating this that they always buy something like one thing from that and one thing from that and one thing from that and uh, I, um, a whole other beef that I have is what I see people doing on these decorating channels on YouTube and it's disgusting the things that I see and I can't believe that these channels are so popular and I do hate watch them and I, I guess I shouldn't be so judgy either but I, I can't believe that people sell for this. Anyway, this is one of my rules and I probably should make more rules like that, household rules, and it is make sure that everything is the same and it fits and it nests all perfectly together and it just makes storage like this, small storage, really organized and visually pleasing and yeah don't mix and match all kinds of colors just if every single thing in your house this is the main rule if every single thing in your house is a functioning beautiful aesthetically designed thing then your house is never going to look messy because if you're leaving something around that's a work of art it's just another work of art that's sitting around the house all right Another way too long video that I didn't expect was going to be this long, but it ended up being long. I guess I like to talk too much. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Love you.